Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video with some new singles from Cleona Cosmetics. So if you guys want to see, if you guys are nosy, you want to see swatches, see a quick eye look, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I love eyeshadows, eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow singles, indie eyeshadows, mostly indie. I was gonna say some like mainstream, but I can't really think of any mainstream brands that I love as much as my indies and Cleona has been one of my long-term full blown, we're practically married at this point, relationship status committed, all of the things brand so they actually send me a package anyway if you like indie eyeshadows this is a place for you highly recommend subscribing turning on the bell so you're notified every time I post and without further blabbering let's get into it okay so like I said very enthusiastically and very proudly that I have been a longtime fan and supporter of Cleona Cosmetics when I got this package today I was unboxing it and I was like filming a reel and I was just honestly giddy because I told my husband this too I was like it's kind of an unreal feeling when a brand that you've loved for so long sends you PR and they've been sending me PR for a while so it's not new but feeling does not get old I was so excited when they reached out and asked if I wanted to try their new multi-chrome so first of all shout out to Cleona for sending this to me it will not obviously influence how I feel about their products. I will say though I've already shot all of the b-roll and these shadows are stunning. Like I don't know if you're prepared. I don't know if my camera is going to do a good enough job to capture all the shifts and stuff but I did try my best you guys. Oh my god absolutely beautiful. So blown away. I I. I it's like unfair how gorgeous these shadows are. Anyway, I'm really excited to show you guys all of the swatches and do an eye look. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, they did send me their Deep Sea Treasure Palette when I was very much about to have a baby. Or maybe it was after I had her. I'm not 100% sure, but there were a few palettes that I received in PR right about the time I was having our daughter. So I didn't get around to filming with it, but I did go ahead and film swatches and close-ups. So I will go ahead and throw those on the screen for you. Deep Sea Treasures Palette, eight specialty shades with hues of the deep sea and bright accents in varying multi-chromatic finishes. Saltwater Pearl is a bright silver with a sheer seafoam green base, aqua shifts, and hints of warmth. The Benz is a rich teal base with large glitter particles shifting lilac beige yellow with hints of lime. Fool's Gold is a warm brown base with yellow lime aqua shifts and a hint of purple. Kelp Forest, a deep cool brown base with green turquoise blue indigo shifts. Ring of Fire, a large particle glitter shadow with red hot sparkles that shift red, orange, peach, and yellow. Shepalopod? <laughs> I don't know how to say that one. A large particle glitter shadow with a pinky mauve base and bright green aqua pink shifts. Shipwreck, a smooth black red orange shadow with hints of gold and indigo micro shimmer. Scuba, a slate gray base with a medium glitter particle, subtly shifting indigo violet peach with hints of yellow. And I was planning on filming a eye look with this palette and a matte eyeshadow palette but I'm gonna put that on the back burner for now because we have more new things since this palette launched so they're coming out with some new single shadows for their stained glass collection so we have these ones which are called the multi-dimensional stained glass shadows I believe and then we have the jewel light multi-chromes so let's go ahead and roll into the close-ups and swatches and descriptions of all of the shades because I did film all of that already. Dimensional multi-chromes bring depth and dimension to any look with their gray base and multicolored sparkles. Redox is a lilac pink green aqua with multicolored micro glitter and a silver sheen. Solder shifts pink, peach, yellow, green with a multicolored micro glitter. 
Fierce Shifts Rose Gold Lime Aqua with Multicolored Micro Glitter and a Silvery Sheen. Tarnish Shifts Lime Green Aqua with Multicolored Micro Glitter and a Gold Sheen. Oxidize Shifts Emerald Blue Violet with Multicolored Micro Glitter and a Silvery Red Sheen. Catalyst Shifts Turquoise Indigo Violet Red Gold with a Multicolored Micro Glitter and an Aqua Sheen. Ion Shifts Ultraviolet Beige Gold with Multicolored Micro Glitter and a Pink Sheen. Individually, these are $24.99 Canadian, which is about $19. The bundle of all seven will be $169 Canadian, which is about $130 USD. Perfect for those who love color and high shine, these beauties bring together the best of both worlds. Our jewel lights are versatile shades with gray bases and intense color shifts. As the name suggests, they are sibling shades to our beloved jewel multichromes. Compared to the original jewels, our lights have a brighter and more shimmering finish and can be blended without muddying their color shifts. They're great for beginners and makeup enthusiasts alike. Flame Blown Light shifts bright purple, pink, peach, yellow, chartreuse. Smolder shifts bright magenta, coral, peach, yellow, lime. Forge shifts bright coral, orange, yellow, lime. Kiln shifts bright red, orange, yellow, chartreuse. Sandblast shifts bright copper, peach, gold. Burnish shifts copper, yellow, chartreuse, mint. Patina shifts bright gold lime turquoise blue. Trefoil shifts bright lime turquoise cobalt. Oculus shifts bright emerald aqua indigo violet. Rosette shifts bright teal indigo magenta peach. Spear shifts bright blue purple peach. Individually, these are going to be 19 USD. The bundle of 11 shades will be approximately 199 USD. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed all the swatches and the close-ups. I hope they were helpful. Feel free to, you know, pause the video, screenshot if you want to. I am so, so excited. And also, I do have quite a bit of information to share. So, Cleona is restocking their entire stained glass collection. And they're also going to have an amazing sale. So, buckle up. Okay, so here are all the sales details. So the sale starts Thursday, July 20th at 3 p.m., which is 2 p.m. Central Time, and it'll go until Monday, July 24th at 5 p.m., which is 4 p.m. Central Time. Affiliate codes tack with the sale, including the stained glass collection, multi-chromes, exclusions listed below, what's on sale. So eyeshadows, 13% off all stained glass collection, multi-chromes, Bundles and singles, 10% off all dragon fruit singles, $5 Canadian on their circle shadows. So they do have eyeshadows in circle pans. I have so many of those as well. Nail polish is going to be 20% off the same glass. Slick, Adelic, Retro Essentials, and Spring Collection lacquers. 15% off the Mixology Patio Season Special Launch Pricing, which I have my eye on two of those green shades. 10% off the fruit lacquers, accessories, 40% off the stained glass collection accessories, including palettes and bags, excludes brushes, 20% off the dragon fruit bag, brushes, stickers, and stencils, 10% off the Cleona symbol and cathedral window eye earrings, $1 Canadian brush bonanza sale on our stained glass collection brushes. Okay, so like I said, there's tons of information on their Instagram. I hope this video has been helpful so far with the close-ups of the swatches. I also have a dedicated playlist for Cleona. And if you feel like it, you can go ahead and binge that because I've got so many Cleona singles. I literally need just like a month where I can focus on just organizing my single shadows. But that's not a you problem, that's a me problem. So. Hopefully I can get that done someday, but I'm excited. I have an idea. I know what single I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this shade, which I'm blanking on the name right now, and I don't wanna pull this out because I'm so freaked out that I'm gonna break a shadow. So I'll put it on the screen because I organized it in a way that I'm gonna know what shadow it is. And I'm gonna pair it with the Bella Beauté Bar Best Mattes Palette because I recently picked that up and I wanna use it some more. So I figured, let me go ahead and pair my 
favorite metallics with a beautiful matte eyeshadow palette. Okay, so we're definitely gonna do a green eyeshadow look and I'm not gonna use a ton of the mattes, of course, but I definitely wanna try. So the first shade I'm gonna go into is probably, let's go into this one down here. These don't have names, but the cool thing about this palette is it was a collaboration between two creators and the brand and they said they kind of designed this palette so you could move all the shades around and kind of create your own favorite color stories. I guess my husband decided that he needs to reorganize the furniture. I don't know what's going on up there, but I'm just popping this beautiful green shade into the outer corner because I want a nice green outer corner. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. Next, I wanna try out this kind of like minty color in my crease, and we're gonna bring that into the inner corner. You know, I like how that color looks, but I wanna try this chartreuse color instead. And so I'm just gonna blend that right on top of that minty shade. Ooh, that color is so pretty. So I'm gonna put that on this eye as well. Wow, these mattes are so pretty. <gasps> okay, that's not what we're talking about today, but I just wanted to <laughs> mention that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this shadow on. It looks so beautiful, so sparkly. Oh my gosh, every time I accidentally like knock my finger into these shadows I like cringe a little bit because they're so shimmery and they just I feel like I'm gonna listen I very recently dropped my Cleona like multi-chromes and um, metallics collection that they launched and disaster I broke like two shadows luckily not the green one that's my favorite but I broke what happened here Okay, I guess I'm out of that. <sighs> what is happening? <laughs> Am I cursed? Anyway, so I broke two shadows and I never want to live through that pain again. So I'm trying to be so careful, but I'm also like always in a rush these days with the limited time I have. So are you kidding me? Oh, that looks so freaking sparkly that's one color on my lids I definitely need to give it a bit more of a spray okay so anyway yeah I dropped a palette and I broke two beautiful shadows so I just feel like I couldn't be careful enough when it comes to these shadows because they're so beautiful okay I'm gonna throw something on in the waterline and we're gonna finish up this eye look and I will be right back to close out this video once I finish up the rest of my makeup. Okay friends, so here is the finish look. What do we think? Definitely let me know in the comments. Before I end this video, I really quick just wanna let you know what else is on my face today. So I'm wearing a combo, a lip combo from Merit and I paired it with the Unearthly Lip Liner in Bad Blood. So this is their lip oil or whatever this is called in the shade Maraschino. And the lip is the signature lip in Aperitif. I don't know, but it's a bold, beautiful red lip, perfect for summer. And then I was testing out some new makeup. So I tested out the new One Coat Wow from Huda Beauty and the new Hourglass Skin Tint. So you guys will have to check out Testing New Makeup episode 28. It should be live already. So I'll give you guys my thoughts on those three products in that video. I also have on a bunch of other Hourglass products. So my favorite concealer from Hourglass. I have on the Hourglass bronzer in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. So, so pretty. And then this is my favorite blush from them. It's the At Night Blush. It's like a really pretty berry burgundy blush shade. And then for highlighter, I have on from the tiger palette i have this shade on for my highlighter today so 
those are some of the things that I have on my face. Oh, and I also powdered with the Hourglass uh, Veil Translucent Setting Powder. So those are some of the products. I will link them down below if you guys are interested. As far as the eye look goes and the stained glass shadows, I only used one because I feel like one is all you need when you have this much of a gorgeous shadow to put on your eyes. And of course, it's like very glittery and beautiful. So love it so, so much. I'm so excited for the Cleona sale and the launch of some new stained glass shadows. So you guys will have to let me know if you're eyeing anything from the new collection or if you've been waiting for a sale to pick up some more shadows from them. Let us know what you're planning on picking up. Like I mentioned, I am a Cleona affiliate, so if you use my code KHMAKEUP, you can save on top of the discounts that they're having for the sale, and it also helps me out. So thank you guys for that. And like I mentioned at the start, I do have a Cleona playlist, so if you wanna check that out, highly recommend, especially if you wanna see like swatches and some of their older products. I have lots of videos on their circle pan palettes as well. So thank you guys so, so much for checking out this video. I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye.